What's going on the guys, Krahu here and welcome to another forgotten video by YouTube uh, that YouTube has privated many 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 years ago that I want to resurrect with my powers of I don't know, uploading. <laughs> so today's uh, topic is pretty straightforward. What are your feelings about the current first person shooter scene? And I want you guys' honest opinion. Be honest. Don't be biased towards one title and not the other. This is in general, we're taking the FPS scene in general. I'm talking about the major titles, not some indie shooters. Major titles. What is your, what are your thoughts on it? Uh, and the reason why I bring it up is because I gave Medal of Honor a lot of thought prior to this commentary. Uh, so obviously, before we start, just a quick plug-in. Link to my Let's Play channel is in the description. Also, last episode of Dark Souls went up yesterday. Enjoy that, it was pretty awesome. And, of course, if you could click the like button either now or at the end, that would be fantastic of this video. So, I gave um, Medal of Honor a lot of thought because that game used to be a triple-A title. I mean, holy crap, back in the PS1, PS1 days when I got my very first Medal of Honor, that was the game that started it all for me as far as being into... Like, the cool 3D rendered FPS games, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, it was World War II, it wasn't like current day era or whatever, but... It was... A hell of a journey, and it's just sad that... All these budgets are going towards... Games like Call of Duty, which is just copy and paste... As it fucking is, because it is... Um, they're trying to grab our, you know, tickle our nostalgia bone with... Oh, we have Captain Price skin, oh, we have... I don't know, vacant remake, oh, we have this and that. Every game after Modern Warfare 2 has been just copy-paste, copy-paste, reskin, and quote-unquote their AAA title budget, it's just not there. Companies are cutting corners like there's no tomorrow, and I've seen that firsthand. Believe me, guys. So it's not fair to games like Medal of Honor to, to be put underground because they're dead. <laughs> I mean, Medal of Honor does, is irrelevant at this point. I would love for EA to resurrect it at some point and actually give the game its own fucking budget, its own goddamn respect that it deserves and not just be a placeholder holder for another battlefield. It's just not fair. Now we have to... <clears throat> prior to Titanfall we just had what? Like I'm talking about like the huge huge titles. <clears throat> Excuse me guys. We had Call of Duty and Battlefield. It was always Call of Duty versus Battlefield. Call of Duty versus, versus Battlefield. Now it's going to be Call of Duty versus Battlefield versus Titanfall. But how cool it, would it be to have Call of Duty versus Battlefield versus Medal of Honor versus Titanfall? That would be pretty badass. Now, three out of those four titles belong to EA. So if EA would, you know, want to compete with the likes of Call of Duty, those three titles could potentially do it. I'm not into the whole, you know, Battlefield versus Call of Duty, Activision trying to take down EA, EA trying to take down Activision, fuck it. I just want to play a good game. So it was absolutely heartbreaking how a video game that I gave so much heart into that I promoted for so long just went underground in a matter of months. Yeah, you can still find some servers uh, and some games and Warfighter, but for the most part, it's... That, it's not gonna cut it. It's not gonna cut it. They, there's need to be more. Res there needs to be more respect for a franchise such as Medal of Honor. Because Call of Duty. I mean, everybody copied Medal of Honor. Medal of Honor was the shit back in the day. So to see it being put underground like a, like they think it's a piece of crap, like it's irrelevant, and they made it irrelevant. They could have done something with Medal of Honor 2010, something a lot better, and not just be an engine test. Uh, um, a test engine type of game for Battlefield 3 and then Warfighter being a test for Battlefield 4. Ooh, buy Metal of Honor Warfighter and uh, we're gonna give you the access to Battlefield 4 beta. Wow. That's pretty much why people bought the game and I was so excited for the for an opportunity to to you know experience like special forces from around the world. That was crazy to me. That was a fantastic idea. It just did not get the budget, I believe, and the time that, you know, it deserved. So, it's pretty sad. The FPS scene right now is so goddamn stale, to me at least, that I have, like, no desire. The only, like, honestly, the only Call of Duty that I have a desire to play 
is Modern Warfare 2 <laughs> and Black Ops 1. And that's pretty much it. But I, I know that you guys love to see Modern Warfare 2. Less Black Ops 1 because some of you guys think it's boring. But Modern Warfare 2, man. Like, that game was the epitome for Call of Duty, in my opinion. Because everything that followed was just a straight ripoff of the previous COD. They tried to capitalize on Modern Warfare 2's, Modern Warfare 2's success. And they, they, yeah, they succeeded. With Black Ops 1, absolutely. So Black Ops 1 and Modern Warfare 2, let's say it was the epitome. Call of Duty 4 was the legend. And it peaked at Modern Warfare 2 and Black Ops 1. Everything after that was just straight up cookie cutter, copy paste, let's cut all the corners so that we can make the game cheaply and then just sell it to the masses. And it's the same thing that's happening with Battlefield right now. Battlefield 3. Everybody expected Bad Company 3. Nope, Battlefield 4. It's not fair in my opinion. Battlefield 4 is called by Battlefield uh, fans just, again, copy-paste with some more um, bugs <laughs> than Plague Battlefield 3, and that's pretty much it. So, what are your thoughts on the F on the current FPS scene? Um, is it on a decline? Is it is it doing well? What do you guys think? What do you think, what needs to be changed in the FPS scene that would help it boost itself up again? Thank you very much for listening and watching. See you guys next time.